Hey guys, I got something in the mail that I'm really excited about. I mean, I'm really, really excited about. So I bought my Street Glide in 2016. And of course, like many of us, I love to bought a CVO, but I couldn't afford it. I bought the Street Glide Special, no extras, financed it. It's been paid off a little over a year. And I've been doing some upgrades to it. I did some before it was paid off, like bars and chrome controls and things, making it nicer, stereo. And then since I paid it off, I've done suspension, I've done lowers with speakers in them to upgrade the sound system and stuff. But there's one thing about it that's been more about function than form. And we're gonna fix that, finally. That big pack on the back. Yeah, I mean, it works great, especially for traveling and stuff. But let's be honest, it doesn't look that good. No. So we're taking that off. We're putting on a chopped tour pack from TCMT. So let's see what this thing looks like, what it quality is, how it installs. We'll go through all of that, but they make very affordable parts. And then, you know, that's one reason I bought a black street glide is because to get aftermarket accessories for a black bike is much more affordable than a colored bike. I mean, I love blue and there's some blues I've loved, but black is affordable and let's be honest, I ain't rich, it's just the facts. You know, I keep playing that lottery. Well, not really, I, you know, probably help. I might have a better chance of winning if I played it, but I don't. So I gotta do what I can afford and uh, we're gonna put a TCMT Chop Tour Pack on there. We're gonna check it out, the quality. I'm gonna do a ride with it, let you know if it rattles, how it's working out, how it is for size compared to what I've been running, but I know it's gonna look better. I sure hope so. So let's check it out and get into it. First thing we gotta do is get this pack off here. I've had a couple of buckles here. I've already unbuckled them, so you didn't have to watch that because I had them tied up to keep the straps out of the way, but had a couple of buckles around the luggage rack here. This has got a big elastic piece. We have a luggage rack here. Rotate that out. Do that on the other side. Luggage rack is off. Now I'm gonna have to build one of those racks to hang it on to keep my luggage rack and my sissy bar on when I've got the chop pack on. Or if I need to switch them back to put the chop pack on when I've run in the sissy bar in the backrest. But we'll see how much I run that after this change. Sissy bar is off. That changes the look of the bike a lot already, doesn't it? Be very careful not to be cutting too deep when you're opening something like this. Keep your angle on your knife so it's very shallow and not getting into anything inside the box. But we have foam padding, and then we have a cloth bag here. So we'll put our foam back up here. Wow, I mean, I can tell you already, the paint looks great. This thing looks flawless. Let's take a look at it. I did order it with the Chrome hardware to match the existing latches and stuff I have on the bike. Here's our bracket. Three keys, three keys. Not one, three. And we have a pad here. This would be the seat backrest. Instructions say install the four point docking kit according to the instructions included with that kit, which is right here. Step two is install the tour pack rack to the mounting studs of the tour pack. Step three, secure with washers and nuts. Step four, mounting holes of the tour pack rack are slotted, adjust position of tour pack on the rack and tighten it down. And they even give us 60 to 72 inch foot pounds. So let's get after it. Should just have to rotate this down and it latches in. All right, so we got the four point dock on here. This is slotted. We'll position the pack, figure out where it's gonna go and fit with where I want it for this seat. But you can always probably adjust it later in these slots. Hey guys, it's the next day. So I got ready to drill holes in the bottom of the tour pack to mount it. And I realized my drill was in my tool bag, which is in the back of my truck which my daughter had borrowed to go to work because her car is dead, which is completely off topic. And we're not gonna go down that rabbit hole. But anyway, when she got home, I got my drill out, got my stuff. So I'm ready to drill some holes in the bottom of this tour pack and get this thing mounted. Let's get that done. 
I'm not sure how well you can see it, but there's four indentations right here. So I'm sure that's where we're supposed to drill our holes. Now what I usually do is put the drill in reverse and kind of spin it on the center to make like a center punch type thing before I go forward. It gives it a place to grab and mark. I've already done it here, but I'll show you. It makes a little spot so the drill will grab a hold of and not spin around and go get off center when you start actually drilling down. All right, guys, I'm gonna open it up and try and get something started here. There we go. I'm gonna get one nut on here at least so it can't slide off. Now I can open it up all the way. Now I'll go ahead and get the other bolts started and get them lined up before we tighten anything up. All right, guys, it's installed. I've got a benefit ride to do tomorrow. Going to the Lake of the Ozarks for a benefit for somebody with cancer. So I'm gonna throw a few things in the pack that I always carry. Uh, in my other bag, I always had my jumper box and my air pump. I'm gonna put that in there, a few other things. This doesn't hold as much space, but I don't need it to most of the time. Most of the time that big bag is empty unless I'm going on a long trip. So we're gonna try this for a while. And Maybe if I need uh, more space, I'll get a King Tour pack in another rack and I can swap in and out. But I definitely feel like I like the looks of this a lot better. We'll get it out tomorrow, make sure it doesn't rattle or have any problems with it and stuff. And then I'll give you some feedback after I've used it for a few days. And uh, we'll be back then. I put about 250 miles on that tour pack yesterday, was in and out of it all day long. And I gotta tell you, I'm really happy with it. Uh, one of the things I was surprised was that I've got more visibility in my mirrors. It's easier to see the bikes behind me when we're riding in a group and stuff. I didn't realize how much that bag was cutting off on my mirrors before. So uh, that was a nice surprise, I really liked that. The bag has worked great. Uh, we'll have to see how it works long term, but so far so good, everything seems really good. I like the retractable strap like the way the hinges and the latch work. I like that I can get into the bag and find things as they're laid out across there. I can carry a brain bucket in there, a jacket, cameras, you know, my air pump, my uh, battery jumper. Still carrying my first aid kit, my tool pack, and my saddlebags, but I put more stuff in uh, the tour pack and I just really enjoyed it. We even brought some leftovers home from the lake last night in it and stuff. So uh, worked out great, really like it so far. I think I like the shape and the design. I definitely love the look. It, you know, Vivid Black is easy to match. It's easy to buy parts for. And it's one reason I got a bike that was Vivid Black because I'm not rich. I can't afford all this color match stuff and stuff for Vivid Black is more affordable. So um, I'm really excited about having this on here. I'm really liking the look. Got a lot of compliments on it yesterday on the poker run and stuff. Showed it to several people and they were impressed. And they were impressed that you can order this for less than $350. Uh, link in the description down below. If you use the link, it also um, you know, helps support the channel a little bit. Full disclosure, because I know some people don't realize when it says paid promotion at the beginning of the video, that means that it's a sponsored video in some way or form. We're required to put that on videos. And in this case, TCMT gave me this product. It was something I was interested in. They've worked with me in the past and I really appreciate their work, but I want to be fully transparent. They did give me the product, but my review is my honest opinion and I really dig it. So I'm happy with it. If we have any problems with it, I'll leave it in a pinned comment down below or do a follow-up video and leave a link to the follow-up video in the comment down below. If you don't see anything in the pinned comment negative, then that means we're still happy with the tour pack no matter what day you see this video. All right, guys, we're going to get out of here. We got to go do some grocery shopping. It's been a long weekend. Y'all stay safe and keep on riding.